Hello everyone, this is Vertic Designs here, and for this video I'm going to show you the best render settings for 720p 60fps videos which are going to be uploaded on YouTube. This works with Sony Vegas Pro 14, 13 and 12 and even older versions. Before we start this video, there's a very important thing that you need to do and that is to make sure that you have a video codec called main concept which is mp4 if you don't have this if you look into your render settings and you don't see one called main concept then you would want to click on the video that i made to show you how to get it it will also help you get the h.264 format as well what we want to do is obviously we want to get our clip into here wait for it to load and the very first thing is to right click on it go to properties and in here we want to disable resample you want to press ok and next thing you want to do is you want to go into the project properties into the video tab and in here you want to make sure that everything is correct so first of all we're going to start with the width this is going to be 1280 and then the height is going to be 720 you want to have pixel aspect ratio on one make sure it is on one uh, you want to have field order on none you want to have this on leave it by default so it'll be on zero then here you want to go to frame rate and print 60. It doesn't make too much of a difference if you change it a little bit, but it will look smoother. So just make sure that's on 60, have this off. Pixel format will be on eight bit. You want to have this on best. Then motion blur will be on Gaussian. The next one will be on non by default. It will probably be on blend fields, but I don't really like to have much blur to my video. So I put it on non. Resample will obviously be on disable and the rest of the settings is pretty much optional so wherever you want to save your project or your video and you can just tick that and also if you want to you can do you can tick this one so it starts your videos like that. Now if you go over to the audio tab all you want to do is make sure that this is on 48 and this is on 16. I don't really mess about too much with this but I would say to have it on stereo as well and everything else yeah you just pretty much leave it now that you've done that you can just pretty much save the template call it a name and then click on save i've already saved mine so all you do now is click apply press ok and we are now ready to render this video double click on this and it will highlight it for you the reason i do this is to create a loop region which will only render the clips inside this so now we finally got to the part that everyone wants to know how to do and that is to go to file, render as, give it some time to load. For me everything has already been done here but I'm going to start from scratch so I'm going to untick this and we are going to look through these formats. Look for one called main concept AVC slash AAC and click on that. Open it up and scroll down to where it says internet HD 720p. Then you want to go to customize template and in here we want to start off with the first thing which is the profile this is going to go on high we're going to set this one to 60 fps and we want to untick this i want to make mine different so i don't want it to automatically just for me this one will be on none pixel aspect ratio will be on one I want to leave this on two and this is the important part, the bitrate of the video. Whatever you put the bitrate at, YouTube will still compress your video no matter what. If it's too low, if it's too high. Now just remember that don't go over the top with the bitrate because having a high bitrate is good. It does make the video look really high quality, but it will also make the file size really big. And either way, YouTube will still compress it down to a certain amount of bitrate so you're pretty much wasting your time now what i like to do is i like to follow what the youtube recommendation is there'll be a link in the description which will take you to the website and it will show you what you should do there on the website youtube recommends you to have about 8000 bitrate or 8.0 so what I normally do is that I make the average on default, which is 8.1 or 8,000. And then what I do for the maximum, I change this to 8 and then 0.5, 0, 0. So it gives it a little bit more for the maximum. The next bit is that if you have a really fast computer or a computer that can handle rendering really well, 
you can take this, which will enable the two-way pass. This will make your video quality a little bit higher, but if you are running a slow machine, I would just leave it unticked. Leave the number of slices on four and leave that ticked as well. The next bit, you want to go over to the audio and in here, change the bit rate to this one right here. Make sure that this one is on 48 as well. So 48 and 384. Once you've done that, you want to go back to the video tab and just quickly look over this and make sure that yours is the same as mine. If it is, then go ahead and save it. So call it something like 720p, 60 FPS and click save. Obviously, I'm not going to save mine because I've already saved it and I don't want to overwrite it. And now that we've created our template, you want to save it to your favorites. So next time, all you got to do is click on this and it will show you all your favorites. Mine is right here. We are going to quickly render this video. And if you want to see what it looks like, the end result, you're going to have to click on a link on this video, which will take you to an actual re-upload of this video. It's a little bit complicated because the video itself is 720p, but I always record my videos in 1080p, 60 FPS for tutorials. It helps me to actually see everything. Let's call it GTA 5 quality, if I can spell it, test HD, and then render. And our video is now done. If you like to see the video, like I said, there'll be a link to the video in the description and on the screen. Anyway, that has been my video on the best render settings. If it was helpful, give it a thumbs up. It shows other people that it was a good video and leave a comment on any suggestions or what you thought of the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.